How far can you go in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee with only two gym badges? Normally in Pokemon games, if you want to keep progressing, you need to get more gym badges to allow you to access new areas. But Let's Go, they took that formula and they threw it right out the window because they replaced HMs with secret techniques, with one of the key differences being that secret techniques don't require you to get more gym badges to use them. So today I'll be seeing how far we can go in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee while getting the least amount of badges possible. Let's go! The beginning of the game is pretty normal. I get my starter, run through Viridian Forest, and go to Pewter City where I have to fight my first gym leader. We can't skip Brock because we need to defeat Brock to leave Pewter City and go into Mount Moon. Then, after exploring Mount Moon, grabbing the Helix Fossil because the Dome Fossil is for peasants, and leaving this place, I go to Cerulean City, but before I can leave Cerulean City, once again I need to defeat a Gym Leader, so I go and battle my second and final Gym Leader for now, Misty. After getting my badge from Misty, that's it! No more Gym Badges until this challenge is over! So with my two badges down and done, I figured it's time to go visit Bill. Bill kinda needs my help right now, so I save him and he gives me a ticket to go on the boat, the SS Anne. Now with the SS ticket, it's time for me to leave Cerulean City and go to Vermilion City because we have a boat to catch. Once I travel onto the SSN, I find the captain of the boat and he's a little sick so I give him a good old back rub, and because we give such good back rubs, he offers to teach me a secret technique. He teaches my Pikachu how to chop down trees, which will allow us to leave Vermilion City and keep going forward. Now at this point, this is where I really divert from the normal storyline. Instead of going and battling Lieutenant Surge and getting my third gym badge, I leave Vermilion City with only two badges and head to the Rock Tunnel. Now the Rock Tunnel, that's an interesting little place. It's very dark in there, so you usually can use a secret technique to light up the cave and see where you're going. However, without defeating Lieutenant Surge, I can't get the secret technique to light up caves, so this means I have to do it in the dark. Oh no. So with no other choice, I have to wander around in the rock tunnel in total darkness if I want to be able to get out and keep going on in the game. Now me, I'm really bad at figuring out the cave puzzles and everything. However, luckily, the rock tunnel isn't too bad in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee because even without the light up technique, you can kind of see where you're going. And eventually, I found my way out of the rock tunnel and was on the road to Lavender Town. We successfully skipped Lieutenant Surge. So now that I'm in Lavender Town, I go in the Pokemon Tower, get spooked by a scary ghost, and see a poor little Cubone get stolen by Team Rocket. So I leave Lavender Town and go to Celadon City so I could defeat Team Rocket in their hideout and rescue the poor Cubone. After defeating Team Rocket, I could go outside and get the secret technique for Sky Dash, where a guy yells in my face with a megaphone and then lets me fly around the Kanto region, so it's a fair trade. However, when I use Sky Dash, something kind of weird happens, and my Pikachu on my menu screen just totally disappears. I'm not sure why this happens, and it doesn't really make any sense to me, but it didn't really affect the gameplay at all, and when I healed up at a Pokemon Center, he came right back. Really weird stuff. Anyway, I go back in the Pokemon Tower, save Mr. Fuji, and he gives me the Pokeflute so I can wake up sleeping Snorlaxes. And now with the Pokeflute, I head back to Celadon City, go west, wake up the Snorlax, and go on Pokemon Road, successfully skipping Erika's gym. Now I'm in Fuchsia City with only two gym badges, something I've never done before. And once you get to Fuchsia City, you're actually able to get the Sea Skim secret technique, so now you could also surf around on the water as well. So since we could surf around now, let's forget going to Koga's gym and skip him too, but instead fly back to Pallet Town and head south, so I land on Cinnabar Island. Now the first thing that I do when I get to Cinnabar Island is go to the Pokemon laboratory that they have there and resurrect my fossil Pokemon, Lord Helix Returns. So with only two gym badges, the game just gave me a level 44 Pokemon. This would make every gym that I skipped so far pretty easy. 
but we're still not fighting any gyms because there's more areas that I can unlock with only two gym badges. Next, it's time to finally unlock Saffron City. Back when I was in Celadon City, I ran into Brock before I went into a department store, and he gave me some tea. Now, I'm not really a big tea drinker, but I know some thirsty guards who are, so I shared some tea with the thirsty guards, and they let me into Saffron City. And at this point, I have unlocked every single town in the Kanto region with only two badges, except, you know, the Pokemon League, because we can't go there with only two badges, but still. At this point, there is so much I can do, but with two badges and the whole world to explore, I do the only logical thing. It's time to catch a legendary Pokemon. So I go to the power plant and catch Zapdos, and catching Zapdos at this point in the game is kind of tough. Even though I've been to almost every city in the game, I still can only buy Great Balls, because to buy better items, you need to beat more gym leaders. So I go into the battle against Zapdos with only a few Ultra Balls that a trainer gave me, but unfortunately, those all fail, and I'm stuck using Raspberries and Great Balls to catch this legendary bird. But eventually, I get lucky, and Zapdos gets in a Great Ball, so now I'm a trainer with two badges that tamed a legendary Pokémon. But why stop at one legendary Pokemon when I could go to the Seafoam Islands and get Articuno as well? So I navigate through the Seafoam Islands, find my way to Articuno, and successfully catch a second legendary Pokemon. So let's just do a little recap here. The game just gave me a level 44 fossil Pokemon, I just caught Zapdos at level 50 and Articuno at level 50 as well, and I only have two gym badges. And don't forget that I also could have caught the Sleeping Snorlaxes, and I could go around Fuchsia City or Cinnabar Island and easily find some level 30 plus Pokemon in the wild. I honestly feel like I just broke the game. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Head back to Saffron City and defeat Team Rocket once and for all, kicking them out of the Kanto region. So let's take a look at my accomplishments. I've captured Articuno, I've captured Zapdos, and I've defeated Team Rocket and totally destroyed their organization. I've been to almost every city and every route in the whole game, and I only have two badges. Now at this point, I can fight any of the gym leaders that I skipped, although I'm sure they're all gonna be very easy considering how powerful my team is now. If you play the game like I did here, it's possible to have something really weird like this happen, where you have your first two badges, and then the third badge that you get is technically the seventh badge from Blaine. That just looks kind of funny on your trainer card. Eventually, if I want to beat the whole game, I will need to get the rest of the badges. So, how far can you get in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee with only two gym badges? Pretty far! You could unlock basically the whole game, and this is how you do it. Also, remember how Diglett's Cave was blocked earlier and I had to go through the whole rock tunnel without the light-up technique? Well, I went back to Diglett's Cave after I was able to fly around the Kanto region, and the guy isn't blocking it anymore. According to Bulbapedia, he'll also leave if you get through the rock tunnel without the secret technique. So yeah, this guy basically only exists to make your life harder. Thanks. My name is Mike from Poketips. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content just like this, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.